Recently, there was an automatic update on the SQ app, which prevented it from connecting with the mixer when the app's version and the mixer's firmware does not match, it will fail to connect. This is a quick step on updating to the 1.6 firmware. You will need a USB flash drive for this update. On the mixer, select Utility. Select USB Utility. Select Status Format. Insert the USB flash drive. Select Format, select Yes, it will quickly format the USB flash drive. Remove the flash drive, insert the flash drive in a USB hub with the USB Type-C adapter connected to the MacBook. Open up your browser and you'll search Allen and Heat SQ5 firmware update. On the page, scroll down to SQ5 firmware. Select SQ5 firmware 1.6, download it, agree to the terms. For some reason, it wouldn't let me drag the file to the USB flash drive, so I copy and paste. There's an issue the way the file is written, so if you were to take it as is to the mixer, it will not update. Select issues with copying firmware. It will take you to this page, which will tell you how to properly rename the file for it to work. Manually change the file name. Make sure it's correct. Eject it. Remove the flash drive from the hub. Reinsert the flash drive into the mixer. Select Firmware Update. It will show new version 1.6. Select Update. Select Yes. It will start erasing the old firmware. After that's completed, it will start writing the new firmware into the mixer. Once completed, it'll give you a success message. Select restart. The mixer will shut down and restart by itself. 
Once the mixer has restarted, confirm that the firmware was updated. Select Utility, select General, and you'll be able to see under Firmware version, it'll say 1.60. Now go over to your iPad, open up the app, you will see the 1.6 version. Select SQ5, connect. And if everything's done correctly, and there you go. You're all connected now.